In this tutorial, I will explain how you can program a passive buzzer to play music. First, you'll need to get the buzzer to play two notes on a loop. Then you'll get the buzzer to play the tune Ode to Joy. You will need a micro bit and a Key Studio 37 in 1 starter kit for this project. A link to details about the kit can be found in the notes. The components you will need are a micro bit, a Key Studio micro bit sensor V2 shield, a USB cable, a Key Studio passive buzzer module, and three DuPont jumper wires. All of these, except the micro bit itself, can be found in the kit. Details of these components can be found in the notes. You should be careful to choose the correct buzzer, the passive buzzer. There are actually two buzzers in the kit. The passive buzzer is the one which does not have the letters H, Y, D, Z written on the top. You may also need a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you have a more modern computer, which will enable you to connect up the micro bit. You should connect the components exactly as in this diagram. A link to the diagram can also be found in the notes. Don't be too concerned if the micro bit does not go into the sensor shield at first. You'll need to push it in a little bit just to ensure it is in place correctly. You should carefully trace each cable to make sure they are plugged in exactly as required. Ensure that S connects to SO and that the positive connects to V1 and the negative connects to G2. Remember also that the cable from the computer plugs directly into the micro bit, not the sensor shield. You will have two programs that you can try. The first program will make the micro bit sound two different notes continually on loop. Now I've sped up the programming aspect here a little bit, so if it's a bit too quick you can easily access the program by going to the Key Studio wiki or also opening up the document I've made for you. Links to both of these can be found in the notes. If you download this program, you should see the following result. The second program will play Ode to Joy. It will take a long time to make, but the end result is worth it. You should be very careful to ensure that you select the correct notes and also that you select the correct amount of beats so that the sound is programmed exactly as it is in the real song. One advantage of working with MakeCode is that the simulator will actually play the song and the notes even as you construct the program so you can tell if you're doing it correctly or not. Once again, I've sped up this program construction process a great deal so you are very welcome to check the notes under the video and access the link to the Key Studio wiki or to the document I've added if you want to see the program in more detail. Now after you complete each program you should of course then plug in your micro bit you will remember if you've done previous micro bit projects sometimes it can take a while for your computer to recognize the micro bit but it should eventually pop up on your desktop um, then you can download your program and you simply need to drag your program and drop it directly onto the micro bit icon if your buzzer does not work like this as in the example there are a few things that you can try Number one, double check you have the passive buzzer, not the active buzzer. Number two, double check the program to make sure you have chosen the digital pin if you're doing the first program. And of course, double check all the notes if you're doing the Ode to Joy program. Make sure all your connections are correct. Compare it to the original diagram and also trace your finger from the from the sensor shield back to the buzzer to ensure that they're in the correct sockets. You can find all the details of the project at the link to the Key Studio wiki below. It is called Project 6 Play Music.